a community meeting tonight in Tolmanville to discuss what changes people would like to see in their neighborhoods. The issue of crime is on the minds of many people, but that wasn't the only thing. Our Steve Alexander was at that meeting. He joins us now live at MPD headquarters. Steve, who was involved in the meeting? This one was put on by City Council Member Fred Richardson. It's one of his regular community meetings and was held at Tolmanville Library. Now, Police Chief Lawrence Batiste was one of the speakers and he addressed the wave of shootings around the city, the recent shootings that have happened. But this afternoon before the meeting, we went into the Tolmanville community and asked people what was on their minds. We met some men in a backyard near LaFleur High School who talked about different issues. Crime is going to be crime, but it's crime all over the city. Well, I just think that they need to uh, do more in the recreational facility, for the, in the recreational areas, have more outdoor activities, organize activities for the kids and young people in the neighborhood. We met another man at Figures Park who echoed concerns about activities for young people. It's just, they're just not providing for the kids. That's the way I look at it. They're just not providing for that age group between 12 and 21. It's, they don't have, they're not bringing anything for them to do. Before the meeting, City Council Member Fred Richardson said he hopes some amendments to the Stimson administration's proposed budget will provide more opportunities for young people. We intend them to, to restore the money back to Barton and Goods Club. In the community centers, they were cut uh, a lot of programs out of them. We intend to restore that too. During the meeting, Police Chief Lawrence Batiste addressed the rash of gunfire around the city. Some of you may live in, in neighborhoods where shots have been fired, and of course, many times when those shots are fired, they're usually late at night where there's nobody around to see what's going on. But if you had some type of surveillance uh, equipment that would point it out towards the road, we could probably see a car speeding away, or we could potentially see a silhouette of somebody walking away from the area. And once again, the chief said forward-looking surveillance systems looking out can really help police perhaps catch some of these suspects. Now, people at the meeting also heard from the city public works director as well as the presiding judge of municipal court. Reporting live from police headquarters, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.